Welcome to June's Tutorial TV in 3, 2, 1. Go ahead, Mommy. How to stop seeing unwanted statuses or other posts in your newsfeed on Facebook. Uh, so I want to share today how easy it is to manage exactly what you see in your newsfeed. You can totally control it. So um, right now I'm on my personal uh, profile page in Facebook, but I'm going to click the home button in the upper right. This will take me to my newsfeed. Um, so every everything in my news feed, if I scroll down, uh, appears here on the home page in Facebook. Um, but I hear a lot of complaints from people who see things that they would prefer not to see from people. So I'm going to show you how how easy it is to to not see what what you don't want to. So. Um, I'm going to pick on um, my friend Karen today um, just for demonstration purposes because she actually posted a, a bit strips. Um, so I'm, I'm picking this example on purpose because bit strips is really popular right now. And maybe you have one or two friends who are getting a little too carried away with bit strips and you would prefer not to see bit strips from anybody whatsoever. So I'm going to show you in this demonstration how to block bit strips as well. So here's Karen's post. She added a new photo and um, for every post in your news feed, if you, if you go to the right of that post, you'll see a little drop down arrow. I'm pointing my cursor to it right now. And if you click on that arrow, you will see the following choices. Um, the one, the there's three I want to highlight. Uh, the first one here says, "I don't want to see this." Okay, um, so maybe you you don't want to hide everything from your your friend in your newsfeed. But there's just one photo that just is really offending you, and you just don't want to see it anymore. So you can click that option, and that individual posts will go immediately disappear all right and if it was a mistake there's an undo button right here you can click undo and that individual posts will come right back all right um so i'm going to click again on this drop down arrow and the second choice is hide all from karen meaning let's not see anything that karen posts in my news feed so um, if I select this, my news feed will then be Karen free. And it's important to note that uh, this is not blocking Karen. She can still go to my page and see everything on my, see the items on my page. She can see my posts in her news feed. And I can go to her page and see everything she posts. I just won't see those posts in my news feed. Um, and she would be none the wiser. She doesn't receive a notification that I've done this. Um, it's just on my end, I will no longer see her post. And then uh, lastly, there's an option that says hide all from bit strips. So if I were to select that option, um, I would no longer see anything from this app on Facebook. Now, in the Facebook world, BitStrips is considered an app. So, um, again, if I were to select that, any of my friends that are posting things using this particular app, I wouldn't see it. I wouldn't see BitStrips anymore in my Facebook experience. And uh, I filmed a, another video that goes more into depth how you can go into the privacy settings and block a game or app invites from your friends and even block actual apps. So I'll put a link in the video if you want to head over to that video. Now there's another way to block Karen's posts from showing up in my newsfeed and that's by going to her page. So I'm going to click on her name here which will take me to her Facebook profile page. Now if you go to anyone's 
page on Facebook who is a friend of yours, you're going to see this button here, a friends button. And if you hover over that button, you get some choices. Now see this choice here, show in newsfeed, and it has a check by it. By default, all your friends show that check. So if I were to uncheck it, I will no longer see Karen's posts in my newsfeed. So I'm going to hit home again in the upper right and head back over to my newsfeed. So my newsfeed is now Karen free. I will not see any. If Karen were to post something right now, I, I would not see it in my newsfeed. All right. But I'm going to um, go back to her page and because I do want to see Karen's posts in my newsfeed. So I'm going back to her page now. I'm going to hover over that friends button. And I'm going to click here, show in newsfeed. And see how the check reappears. So now I will begin to see posts from Karen again in my newsfeed. And when I put that check there, there was also a settings option that appeared. Now if you click into settings, you can really get specific as to what you see from that person in your newsfeed, in this case, Karen. So by default, Facebook selects most updates on all your friends that you see in your newsfeed. But I could change that to all updates. Let's say I want to see everything that Karen ever posts in my newsfeed. Or you can select only important. Now if you do that, that's going to do uh, uh, relationship status changes, um, milestones and things that she highlights on her page with the highlighter option. Now um, if we move down, uh, Facebook also lets us configure what type of updates we want to see from this person. So I could say, you know what, I don't want to see any games for her, let me uncheck that. I don't want to see her comments, her likes. I don't want to see music videos or other activity. I only want to see photos, status updates, and life events. All right, so you can really um, configure this per person. Um, so like for a family member, maybe you want to um, put it on all updates, but uncheck, uncheck status and only see life events or photos or however you would like to customize it. It's it's here. Or if you want, you can just um, leave it on the default to either show or not show in your newsfeed. And you have this ability to do for every single person. Now, it would be tedious to, um, if there's like 20 people. Um, so what I use in my account is called lists. Um, if you're familiar with Google Plus, they have what's called circles. Uh, you could put different, like there's acquaintances in one circle, family in another. Well, face in the Facebook world, they have the same thing. It's just called lists. So you can have a list for your coworkers, lists for your family, lists for um, maybe all your high school buddies. And you can configure a whole list not to show in your newsfeed. For example, if I didn't want to see any posts in my newsfeed from my high school buddies, then I would just, you know, add all my high school buddies to that list and then configure that list not to show in my newsfeed. And it makes managing that a little easier. I'll go more into depth on exactly how to create lists in another video because um, you can also use lists to determine who sees different statuses that you post. All right, so just as a quick review, I'm going to go back to my home page. And um, I'm going to just pick on the, the first post up here um, from this friend. So let's say I no longer, so let's say I didn't like this particular post. I could just click here. I don't want to see this. It goes away. Or if I wanted to hide all things from that person, I would click here and select hide all from this person. 
okay or alternatively I can click into that person's page and I could click uh, over the button friends and uncheck the button that says show in newsfeed all right so I hope that's helpful uh, to people who really long to censor and control exactly what they see in your news feed. I'll do another video on how you could do the same thing on your mobile phone if you have Facebook installed on your smartphone. And if you have a question, feel free to drop me an inbox uh, or a note on the video or go to jdwebsolutions.com. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day. June's Tutorial TV is powered by JD Web Solutions. Visit jdwebsolutions.com to book June as your personal trainer. One-on-one -on -one personal training sessions are available, so are group training webinars and more free YouTube videos, all at jdwebsolutions.com.